It is back to school time in central Indiana. IPS held its first day of classes today. And looking ahead to tomorrow, Franklin Township Community Schools in Marion County and Southern Hancock County, which is New Pal, they begin both begin the school year. Well, there is a lot that goes into that making bus, sure kids really are safe yeah, and inside their school building, but getting there is just as important. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall is taking a look inside all the ins and outs of transportation and what goes into making sure that your kids get to and from school safely. you today? Becky Cruzman. When you sit down, let's get buckled. Buckle, buckle. Has been driving a bus. It will be completing 17 years. A job she loves. The kids just seeing their faces. Got some incoming fourth graders I'm anxious to meet. A job she doesn't take lightly. There is nothing anybody hauls. I don't care if you're a Brinks driver and you're hauling millions of dollars or gold bricks. There is nothing as priceless as what we are hauling. That child is somebody's everything. And safety is number one priority. It is the only thing in the long run that matters is these kids are safe on the school bus, safe getting off the school bus. It's a job that takes a lot of teamwork. Everybody has a seat at the table when it comes to school safety, not just police, not just school officials, but every member of that community, everybody that lives there, we're all responsible. From police to bus drivers, transportation directors, and everyone out on the roads, it's a task that requires us not to be on autopilot. You can't get complacent. You know, your mind has to be on every little thing you're doing, every stop. You have to know where all the cars are around you, especially at student stops. Neutral break, door open. You're watching for the kids. Most of mine are already over here. No matter all the safety measures bus drivers take, there are still far too many close calls. Some of the biggest challenges are the stupidity of other drivers. The stop arm violations. I have cameras on my bus this year. Weekly, at least once or twice a week, I'm going in there and writing up a stop arm violation. We've seen countless of close calls in districts all over the state. It is scary how many times that we are doing that. When they do that, they're really risking the lives of children that, that don't know any better. They're, they're, they're kids. They don't know not to dart out in the street. They think that they're safe because that stop arm's out. You would hate to live in a situation where a split second mistake because you were in a hurry um, to save five seconds, honestly, uh, ended the life of a child and ruined a family. We are battling all kinds of construction. They also have to deal with the road conditions. I know just how precious the child is to you. So as you head out the door, keep an eye for the big yellow buses filled with kids trying to get to and from school safely. You're going to have a better day than you think you're going to have in Indianapolis. Always expect the unexpected so you're prepared. Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. As the new school year starts, Indiana State Police's John Perrine has a message for all drivers. So it's our responsibility as adults uh, to, to take that burden of safety and be extra cautious as all of these routines are changing, as these kids are changing their routines to get to school. And we certainly have to be more aware than we are, usually are uh, for those kids in the mornings and the afternoons.